Good morning, good morning. Good morning, good morning. I have a dog panting. It's not me this time, it's him. I kind of have recovered. Um, my husband has gone to his little Friday breakfast thing with his men group. And this is what I found on my nature, my walk this morning. An oak leaf and a little poplar tree leaf or something, but it's already turning yellow. I picked it up turning yellow, but I'm going to try to um, press these in a heavy book. I think I have a couple books around here and um, see what happens. I put ink. I saw this on somebody else's channel and I don't remember who it was now. It was a nature journaler and they put ink on the back because there's usually more veins but I found on this guy, I put it on the front. Yeah. But I didn't get a great impression, probably because I didn't take time to do it right. But today I also discovered that the robins are the loud birds. I thought it was the blue jays. Blue jays are loud too, but and bluebirds are loud. But today, robins were super loud. Uh, daddy, mommy, and baby deer, two doors up. Uh, squirrels have white chests. Never paid attention. You're supposed to pay attention. Pay attention and training yourself to catch every little detail. Um, I use Dirty Martini and Library Green. Dilutions is one. And Ranger Archival Ink is the other. But, and I just did this quick in like five minutes. <clears throat> I have several, several empty pages here. And empty spaces. And I'm just going to do... Like here, I could be doing something. Practicing, practicing, practicing. Now, this is my expert opinion. Um, and I say that with lots and lots of jest and laughter. Because I am not an expert. But I will tell you that doing this every day for six plus years, seven plus years, I am better than I used to be. Um, I think I found a little thing that shows you... Um, drawing a bird a day. And I know you can do, a lot of people do lists for drawing in your Hobonichi every day and watercoloring and all of that. Um, I think that was one of the first things I was drawn to when I found these things was, oh my God, look at their beautiful, um, I'm going to put these in here for my quilting. Maybe I have it. One of these pages will be quilting. Okay. But uh, there's lots and lots of lists about drawing every day in your Hobonichi because this paper can take it and watercolor and everything. That's the beauty of this paper. And the beauty of the guy laying next to me. You're a good boy. Are you a good boy? He chased deer yesterday. Chased him out of our yard. <laughs> they were on the coming down the driveway eating four o'clocks. And yesterday, it was about four o'clock in the afternoon, eating four o'clocks. What's left of one side of an oak leaf hydrangea? Um, there's a big palmy thing. I'm not sure what that is. I have to ask my husband. But they've been massacring that on the side of the driveway. And my husband... Okay, don't take this wrong. Okay. I think they are starving. They don't look like they're starving, actually. But they're definitely... Their territory is shrinking, for sure. And... There's a baby involved now, so they're very protective. But if that deer had turned around and came down the driveway after Gunner, Gunner would know what to do. Um, I don't think Gunner could outrun them, uh, even though he's very quick when he wants to be. Um, but my husband has a slingshot. Now, what he is, he got special little round um, pellets that are soft. It's just enough to scare them. He actually thinks he hit one one time. His aim and his eyesight are horrible. He has cataracts, the beginnings. Uh, they're trying to slow it down with drops. So um, his aim is terrible. He doesn't have strong, but it's a little thing you put on your wrist. And I've watched him practice. He can't hit the far, broad side of a barn. So the deer are pretty safe, but he thinks he hit one um, in the backside. But it's just enough to scare them away. It's not hurting them. It's not... The, the, the pellets are biodegradable. It's none of that. So, um, please don't come for me for him trying to scare the deer away. He's so mad about his hydrangeas. Because he took all of our old ones out in that front flower bed. 
and took them all out, which there were three of them, big ones, established, big, beautiful, beautiful. But last year they did not do well at all. We had some blossoms, but not nearly. They, the, the blooming period was not nearly as long. They were not as vibrant and they were not as prolific. Once you picked them, nothing else grew back. And we usually get like two or three picks. Um, and, and we didn't have a particularly hot summer last summer. So maybe, I don't know. This summer, he, t he tore them all out in the fall, put new ones in, and they're all pink. And because we had started getting colors mixing, which all of these, except for these three new plants in the front, all of these plants came from one purple bush that is still in the backyard. It's a different variety because it's a more lacy hydra. This is the nature journaling part of the video. They're more lacy blossoms. You can't pick the ones down on the lakeside because they, they wilt and everything within a half an hour after you pick them, even in water. So we never picked those, but everything was started from slips from those two plants and they're blue. We've gotten purple. We've gotten pink. We've gotten blue, but, um, uh, he was so mad. He put a, a like ground cloth that you would put under gravel. He put that over them so they wouldn't get beat down by the sun in the afternoon as bad. Um, he's watered them diligently. He's talked to them. He's fertilized them. He's massaged the ground around them many times. And the deer just one night, boom, everything was gone. <laughs> the plant is still there, but all the blossoms are gone. The leaves are gone. Everything is gone. Uh, one night they came and got the purple ones on the side of the driveway and left one blossom. That one blossom is still there. Um, and they decimated that those, I think there's like four plants or five plants there. They, all of them gone. They were smaller. My husband trimmed them way back last year. But um, the pink ones in the front, boom, gone one night. And, we, and we've been leaving our light on, the porch light on, to try to like pretend like there's somebody awake and watching them. And then our neighbor, where the chicken coop was, that got messed up last year. Oh, almost this time last year. At the end of June last year is when that microburst thing came through and knocked down houses and trees and everything everywhere. But they lost their chicken coop. But their garden was, of course, destroyed. But this year, they have a tinier garden, but they have a fence around it. And he hung two t-shirts. Like, that's what you should put out there, like a scarecrow type of thing. Hang a t-shirt outside on the front porch. He goes... I don't want to look like the Beverly Hillbillies <laughs> because I want to be uh, uh, partly a hydrangea connoisseur and less a Beverly Hillbilly. So I don't know what we're going to do. Um, but these poor deer, they, they have nowhere else to go, literally. This whole, I mean, this is a, I think it's a six mile road back into where we are on this side of the lake, on this point of the lake there's all the lake is a rectangle and there's points all along it and um back into our point is like a six mile road off the main road and there used to be there used to be no houses I mean no subdivisions now there's probably I think there's three close to us They've built two more on this side. There's like three over here, two over here. And they're building up the road, like within like four miles of that six mile road. They're building another gigantic one. I mean, they're just popping up everywhere. There's another one kind of established now. It's probably like 10 years old, but these are all within the last like four years, just everywhere, everywhere, all over this lake, all over. And um, it was voted the best school district in the state like five or six or seven years ago. And that really caused problems. <laughs> um, as far as the subdivision started popping up then. And then we have protest. There's been protests. I mean, it's just crazy. Okay. Okay. Stop, 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 stop. It's just crazy. But the poor deer have nowhere to go. Um, and we, I saw a baby fawn dead on the side of the road, uh, a little ways up, but going back into the section of town we're in and it's like oh my god anyhow but my first page of nature journaling not too bad oh I, the lady that i saw doing this with ink because she also kept the leaf down and then she drew lightly around it with a pencil much more defined which with a much better pencil these are just cheap dollar paper mate paper mate but they're okay um 
This is my, my journal mate. Um, but that's, that's good enough for me. I mean, if I were talented, I would get a better pencil, but and I think I do have a mechanical pencil here somewhere. But I mean, even Bye Bun uses these pencils, so I feel like if she can use them, I can use them. Anyhow, um, uh, but she sits and draws the outline of her leaves, and I'm like, oh, who are you barking at? There's nobody here, Bubba. Anyhow, so my first page of nature journaling, and I've got a couple, um, what do you call it? Oh, my husband. The rope warships are still in Cuba, but guess what popped up right outside of Guantanamo? An American sub. <laughs> popped up just so that they know they're there. And the Russians like, we, we're just cruising around. We're not doing anything. Yeah, right. Okay. If you're part of the Russian army, I'm so sorry. Please don't come for me. Okay. I need to move all this Amy Tan stuff. What are we doing today? I already forgot. Oh, Terezo. Tere Terrazzo like stone, which is like the confetti and stone. I don't know how I'm going to do this one. I really don't. Um, with the premise that I'm using my scraps. I don't know. There's one of those birds. I don't know if I should put another blank piece of paper on here and then do something on top of it. Some of these I have been messing around in. Let's see if I can, anything sparks my hmm. I mean, that's kind of fun, actually. Maybe I'll use this as a background. My stomach is growling. Some of these I did at the beach. Just playing. I mean, just literally playing. Ooh, I like these two. I think I'm going to take these out. These I got at Michael's. I have two of these. I got them at different times going um, down to the beach because there's a Michael's on the way in Sumter. The fact that there's two pieces of paper here does not bother me. And I'll have a seam does not bother me. What are you doing, Bubba? Huh? What you doing? Yeah. Daddy's only going to be gone for an hour. I had to walk in by myself this morning because my husband was getting ready to go. I have treats in my hand, literally dragging him along the path. Not dragging him, but at times, <laughs> major persuasion is required for this dog. To walk without my husband because he keeps turning around like, where is he? Why are we leaving him? Like, really? I'm here. And then the two dogs, two doors down, followed us half the time and that aggravates him. And Penny just wants to play. The other one is scared of his own shadow. But. Okay, let's just trim all this off and see what it looks like. But I haven't had breakfast yet. Because I started doing the leaves. And I'm like, well, heck, I'll just do my video for tomorrow. And I think today I'll finish the quilting part of my quilt. If I do, tomorrow might have a video of it. A clip of a picture of it. Then I have to do the binding. That kind of sandwiches the edges together. Or closes the sandwich together. Okay, so you can hardly tell there's a seam right there. No, that doesn't bother me. Okay. And Terrazzo, Terrazzo uh, tile and stone has lots of little specks in it. I'm really tempted to cut specks out of paper, which I think I will because I just, I have some right here. Now this is a thicker paper. This is like mixed media paper. I don't know if I want... Ooh, maybe use some of these. I could punch, hole punch them. Huh. I don't want them to be, well, my terrazzo, terrazzo paper is going to be uniform. Let's get what's, what's in here already. Ooh, treasure. I think it's mostly white. Oh, here's a blue. I 
Why not your hole puncher? And look what you find. Dina Wakely on Instagram put up more pictures from the Galapagos Island. Hammerhead sharks. The woman is swimming with hammerhead sharks. Like, please don't hurt her hands. She has to design stuff. Okay, let's see what we can come up with now. Oh, my stomach's growling. Sorry. What? I haven't eaten. Okay, let's see. Oh, here's some pretty green. These are going to be a pain to glue. Let's see. I want them random. Gunny. Gunner. I don't know what you think you hear. Do you hear hoof prints on the driveway? not Santa's reindeer either, is it? What else is going on around here? I was going to try to mail my quilt to my sister and then I would pick it up and take it up to my friend's house because I've got a couple days at my sister's house and a couple days at my friend's house. And, um, just like I did last year. But I don't think I won't have it. I don't trust the mail system now. I don't have it done in time. So, and I'm only taking a backpack. Hopefully. So yesterday I'm like, well, let me do a trial run on packing. Even though I'm trying to get my packing together all right now. So, because I've only got a couple days to go. And, um. Now, you know what would have been easier, but not as much fun? It's to dress, draw little tiny circles with a stencil and paint them all different colors. Or color them or somehow, some way. But that would not have been nearly as fun. But um, anyhow, so I pre, I, I'm like, my, my, um, my fear, I can't even talk. My fear is that. This backpack that I'm taking will be so heavy that it'll be hard to carry around the airport transferring planes. Because, you know, Chief Weenie arms here. <laughs> but um, I pre-packed a little bit yesterday and put in... Now, where did all those come from? I only poked to This is like Mary Poppins hole puncher. <laughs> where did all these come from? I, po I poked two holes in paper and this whole pile came out anyhow um i packed what i'm going to take and the quilt into the backpack it's a small backpack it's very light i have learned because i have a really nice uh lands in backpack that i've had for so many years that it has old initials on it from when i was married before which was more than 30 years ago but it's purple so you keep it forever and um that thing is heavy heavy to start off with so I learned get a light one I think I was going to do this in Vietnam and I got a light one and um to start off with before you start packing so I, I got everything in it pretty much I'm not even taking too many toiletries um makeup is like no question out of the question and um I'm just me. You get natural me. But, um, oh, this is so much fun. <laughs> this is like addicting. Even though you get glue everywhere, your fingers start sticking together. But you do have a Mary Poppins hole puncher. Um, 
So I, I'm not going to worry about trying to, I was going to mail it on Monday to my friend's house. And then if it didn't get there in time, I was going to take a picture of it before I left. Oh, I love that. My terrazzo. What is this? 15. And um, so I'm just going to take it with me. That way I know for sure it's not going to get lost in the mail. That would be tragic. Wouldn't surprise me. Thank you, American mail system. But sometimes. Okay. Oh, I know how to spell recipe now. But is terrazzo two R's and two Z's? I don't know. We're going to go. Mine is. I love that. It's not on the edge. But that's okay. <laughs> I love that. This one I love. Just... Whoops, it goes like that. Just enough. Just enough. This has been so much fun. I flip in, tip in of my index card today. I love it. Lost and found. Because I lose and find everything in my art room over and over again. Uh, ellipse. I haven't tacked them down yet because I'm trying to avoid lumpy left. I'm going to do them all at the end. Uh, Ferris wheel, which was invent or Mr. Ferris used one at the World's Fair in 1893. Amy, this was orange, so Amy Tangerine. Pre Amy Tan. Potpourri, spelled wrong, I'm sure. It's just a potpourri of paper. This was just amazing because this came together from paper that I saw in the trash, so I pulled it back out, and all of it was there. This is the spirals that look like the foam at the top of a wave. Then I cut out waves. Then there was a surfboard in there. It was just like meant to be. Owl. No, lavender. It's not my favorite. I love the stickers. I love the paper. Together, I don't know. An owl. Who? And there's his beak. I saw that last time I flipped this the other day. Patisserie. Has my favorite macaroons. Tree. Oh, I might photocopy this and... um. Put it in my nature journal. Day three is, oh, this was amazing. Gradient. I like this one for so many reasons because, again, the paper talked to me. I got these all out of my little scrap bin over here. But in there, in one of, attached to one of these was this little thing that says, you got this. And then all of these pieces of paper that I glued down, one of the, it just stood out to me. It said, color became its own. I'm like, yeah. And then this one is Zinnia which I just took, and you can see there's a zinnia there. I took out of my scrap box and door or portal. And I used like a portal right here. That's what brought me to the side thing. But I, not everyone has a side thing, but that's okay. That's okay. Oops, you can't see that one. Um, where's my clip? Here it is. So this has been so much fun. Awesome, awesome prompt list. So much fun. Let's see what's in this other little one. I have two. Again, I was just going through and just doing mishmash. But it could be the foundation for terrazzo flooring. You never know. Ooh, <gasps> I think one of the prompts on this list is gold. This paper might have to be there. This was super wet paper. And cleaning off a paintbrush. Allie Edwards did something like this. She's making a stash class. Oh, this is me just completely cleaning out stuff. But it's pretty. I'm not sure if I'm going to take the stash buster class that she's doing. Just because this is kind of like I'm constantly working on my stash. To the point where I think I'm going to... I might take these with me to California. I'm taking a tote bag also. Um, and I will be able to put these in the tote bag. And I might take... 
I have several tiny little palettes, watercolor palettes and a water brush. And maybe just like this pen because it'll write on watercolor. So will a Kurotaki, but um, I have to wait for it to dry. And sometimes I'm impatient. This, Well, this will have problems too if it's wet. I don't know, but I think I'm going to take, because I'm trying to talk my sister into Point Reyes and or San Francisco. But I haven't had the courage to ask her yet because she can be a little touchy. She says she's not, but she is. I'm the perfect one. You are so lucky to know me, the perfect one. Okay, let's see. I'm cleaning up my paper here. I am really coming. When I get home at the end of the month, I am going to focus on this, these two boxes completely. Whether I clean them out, whether I replace them with other scraps, I don't know what I'm going to do, but some of these I've picked over so many times and they've been here for like two or three years in this box. But as soon as I try to throw something away, I'm like, oh, no, 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 no. That's what happened with the, the wave prompt. But really and truly, as much as I'm using it, I'm putting more into it, I think. Okay. These can go in the medium sized box. Oh dear, there's more over here. And I gotta clean out my water brushes, all my brushes before I leave. And make sure the water's not putrid. Otherwise my husband's gonna say, what is that smell coming from your craft room? Oh, you never know. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> See, saving all of those. Okay. Ooh, I saw somebody making a specimen envelope, too. That was really cool. Okay. Watch me clean my desk. Okay. Oh, I can put this in my Hobonichi, too. This one is not nearly as thick as my other one. Other years, probably because <clears throat> I um, have been very neglectful of it this year and not doing it in a timely fashion, which I don't like because you lose your spontaneity. Like, oh my God, I saw, you know, an ant on the front porch today or just silly stuff. I love the silly stuff going in there. All right, a beetle landed on my leg when I was walking today, which did happen. Okay. But it is what it is. Oh, this is going to go in here too. This should be in the beginning of June. Because I'm putting, it's my directional sign to myself to put things on the edge. That's the kind of stuff I love putting in here. I don't know why. Oh, this is just a painted blob on top of a magazine picture of sunglasses. But, oh, oh let's glue this in too. Join me while I clean off my desk in front of you. This is the quilting page. Sometimes instead of doing every little day, like I quilted this much today, I did this much today, I made, you know, seven runs on the quilt, seven long seams, because I can't do it in one full swoop because my back will be gone. My poor husband, his back is out right now too. I don't know what we did. It's this darn exercising. But, um, so I have to really space it out. I do like four or five rows of stitching and then I stop and rest it seriously rest and then um not do anything 
except maybe draw some birds. But I could be doing this when I'm not doing quilting. But um, say la vie. Um, this is super thick, so I'm using tape. Uh, so it's taken me. Plus, my machine is not built for quilting. It's built for sewing. But I'm getting much better than I thought I would be, for sure, in my defense. But I'm hoping I finish the quilting part today. And I made a quilt like this in Missouri for me with bright fabrics. But this one is in patriotic stuff for my friend's dad in honor of his achievements and service to our country without being an American citizen. Yeah. Okay. All right. Stop, lady. Stop. Otherwise, this video is going to be... Oh, it's you're, this is Saturday for you. Okay. Well, good. You get a long video finally on a Saturday. I've been neglectant of that. Flying into Sacramento. Hopefully going this way. And then going this way. <laughs> and this way. And then east. Oh. I just love looking at this thing. But in some of these holes, I'm going to practice drawing now. I want to do an owl for sure, because I haven't heard them lately, though. They were more in the early spring. Oh, I have more to go on here. My husband says, what are these banana labels for? And these come off of Amazon packages. I'm like, don't touch them. They're mine. He's like, okay, Gunner. He said, I think your mother has slid off her rocker. That's what he says all the time. Oh, all the tornadoes in the Midwest. They had some more yesterday in Missouri and Iowa, I think. There's my little sewing machine. Just putting in paper that I made. Inspiration for quilts. I mean, look at this. That's in Sisters, Oregon. Three Sisters Mountains has a fabulous quilt show and quilt store. I've never been there. My sisters have. I have not. Hey, I wonder if I could talk my sister into that. I'm only there for three nights. That's too hard. And we would have to take two cars because I would fork off and go up to where my friend is then. Crazy dog. Storms. Lake trips. Herons. Oh, Nikki Haley. I've lost faith in her. All this horrible stuff going on. A Blue Angels documentary on Netflix or Amazon. I'm not sure which one. Kayaking, which I haven't done, which I plan to get back in there. Oh, Sunday is Father's Day here. I think my husband's going to meet his kids between halfway between here and Charleston. Or two of them are. And the other one and granddaughter will ride with him I guess he picks him up on the way Hunter Biden tragic American warships sewing I'm gonna oh I'm gonna make a packing list title here then I'm oh, gunner, gunner, gunner. I didn't do anything I just stepped on the edge of where you were oh calm to combat people you think he's so cute he can be a holy terror. I know you're sorry. I know you didn't mean to. But just because you get scared does not mean you have to just bite somebody's leg off, okay? I know. You're okay. You're okay. You need to be in my lap. Okay, come on. I can't do this very well with you in my lap. You realize that, right? I don't care. I don't know why I picked these pastels. Yes, I know. You can kiss me a little bit, I guess. You're, I accept your apology. But if my leg was already bitten off, your apology would not mean as much. Sir. Holy tear. Uh, this one. No. This one. I wish I could write pretty, but I just can't. Nor can I center anything. <laughs> mm. 
Now my packing list doesn't look quite as boring. Okay. May I put you on the ground, your highness? Huh? Do you want to say hi to the people? They say hi to you. Here. Say hi to the people. Say hi to the people. Don't knock my camera around, though, buddy. You're, you're blocking the whole thing. <laughs> Goodbye. Have a good day. Bye.